Welcome to Random Recess. Today we're taking you on a journey back in time to the glory days of the Roman Empire, but with way more slot machines, cocktails, and cronuts. That's right, we're at the legendary Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas. Join us in conquering the Caesar's Palace. We'll take you around this historic Las Vegas property from the rooms to the opulent decor that would make even Caesar himself say, et tu brute? And what's a Roman holiday without feasting like an emperor? We'll eat at Cafe Americano, which is one of the highest grossing restaurants and ranked in the top 100 in the US. Then we'll soak up the sun at the Garden of the Gods pool complex. It's a place so luxurious, even Neptune might trade his trident for a pool floaty. We end our Caesar stay at Lisa Vanderpump Garden. These drinks are so good, you'll feel like you have Bacchus himself as your personal bartender. Filming this vlog at Caesar's Palace is our Roman Empire, so sit back and relax. You know what time it is. Tempus Ludorum Este. What's up guys, good morning. We're here at Caesar's Palace. We got in a little bit late last night, but check-in was super smooth, really, really easy, and we can't wait to show you what kind of room we got. But you're gonna have to wait a little bit before that because we're hungry, we're gonna go grab breakfast. And let's go grab breakfast and then we'll show you the room. How about that? All right, we got seated in the back here at Cafe Americano at Caesar's Palace. This is really great because it's open 24 hours. It's located right in the lobby. So where you go to registration, it's right there by the fountain. This is one of the top 50 highest grossing restaurants in the nation. It's really cool. Um, kind of makes sense. There aren't a lot of 24 hour restaurants left in Las Vegas. A lot of them have started to reopen since the pandemic, but there was a time like 10 years ago or so where almost every resort had some sort of cafe that's open 24 hours. And lately it's just been so difficult, especially because of the pandemic, to like get food late, late at night. But yeah, so far the vibes are great. It's really well lit. They've got neon signs everywhere with like different quotes. Really excited for our food and just to kick off our day here at Caesar's Palace. All right, you know I had to get a Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary boys for life. Martini boys first, but in the morning, it's all about the Bloody Mary. Here at Cafe Americano, they actually have several different kinds of Bloody Marys. They have like specialty ones. I just went with tried and true classic Bloody Mary. This is like a house Bloody Mary made with Tito's. Nothing too fancy for me this morning. And I got it spicy. Always got to get it spicy. Perfect. That is delicious. Great way to start off the morning. A little alcohol, am I right? No, this is going to be awesome. That's a great Bloody Mary. Just a little bit of spice. I'll give that a four out of five. Needs a little bit more hot sauce, but hey, I'm not complaining. So last night we got in pretty late, like we said, and we decided to hit up the food hall, Caesar's Palace food hall. It's interesting. It To me, it's a food court. Comment down below what you think, but I don't know. It's, it's still more fast food than it is like actual restaurants and like what you would get in a food hall concept. So I ended up eating at Bobby's Burgers. Uh, we've eaten at Bobby's Burger Palace. I don't know if that's no longer a thing or this is a separate concept, but I'm going to give my burger, honestly, two and a half out of five. It was okay, right? Like, it was a crunch burger, which is their signature burger, which is potato chips in a cheeseburger. The meat had this odd texture, like a cafeteria burger. I got Chicken Guy, which is Guy Fieri's chicken restaurant, and it serves chicken tenders and chicken sandwiches. I know they have one in Orlando, um, in downtown Disney. We've never eaten there, so I decided why not? We love Guy's Burger Joint on Carnival Cruises. So I thought, let's try his chicken. I gotta give the chicken three out of five. I got the, the spicy tenders. Um, they were just okay. Not the best chicken tenders I've ever had. And they were just serviceable. I think his burgers are way better than his chicken. Um, just my take. I didn't really care for his chicken too much. It was just kind of average to me. Yeah, when you're here at Caesar's Palace, there are so many great dining options from so many high caliber celebrity chefs and big names in the culinary community. Don't limit yourself to what's in the food court or the food hall. You have restaurants here from Guy Savoie, you have Giada de la Rentis, Bobby Flay has like two or three restaurants here, Gordon Ramsay has two restaurants here, Dominique Ansel. So there are just so many different options. There's a Peter Luger here at Caesar's Palace as well. So definitely a lot of great food options and drink options as well. Don't miss Lisa Vanderpump. She has Vanderpump Vegas Cocktail Garden. 
uh, inside the Forum Tower here at Caesar's Palace. So it's a veritable who's who in the culinary community as far as where to choose to eat. So definitely explore your options. There are so many great ones here at Caesar's Palace and hopefully we'll get to show you a couple. So Ben mentioned the neon signs here in Cafe Americano. They're kind of neat, they're all songs. So we have Suspicious Minds, Should I Stay or Should I Go, and Fly Me to the Moon. Do you know what three artists those are from? Comment down below, but kind of a neat little touch. I like it. All right, our food has hit the table. Did we order too much? Probably, but we wanted to try it all. I got the breakfast burrito, and we always say on Random Recess, trust your server. I was debating between the breakfast sandwich and the burrito. I asked our server and he said burrito right away without any hesitation. He said by far the burrito. So I'm excited. Look, it's stuffed with all sorts of good breakfasty goodness. I'm gonna try it without salsa first and then I'll try it with the salsa, let's go. That is really, really good. The soft scrambled eggs are really nice. The breakfast meat adds that really nice salty punch. There's a jalapeno crema in here that adds a little bit of a kick. That's delicious without the salsa. Let's try it with it. That is so, so good. Gonna give this a four out of five. There's veggies in here too, like mushrooms. That salsa isn't too spicy, which is nice. The reason I'm giving it a four out of five, this, the eggs are scrambled super soft, which if you know me, I don't like soft scrambled eggs. I like my eggs to be scrambled a little bit hard. So maybe I should have said that, but it's a great breakfast burrito, four out of five. I went with the birria Benedict. I'm on this birria kick now ever since going to uh, Chino Poblano at the Cosmopolitan. Shout out Chino Poblano if you haven't seen our review of that. Our Cosmo video has it, but look at this. This is just beautiful. You got your hollandaise sauce, this birria. Oh, look at that, wow. All right, the perfect bite. A little bit of poached egg, a little bit of hollandaise, and the beef birria. Let's see. If you are an Eggs Benedict fan, if you are a birria, like taco fan, you gotta get this. It's the best of both worlds. Nothing too overwhelming, so if you like things that have a little bit of Southwest spice, uh, Mexican flair, you're going to love this. This is a five out of five. It is so flavorful. It's smoky, it's spicy, it's creamy egg, and that English muffin just brings it all together. It's very hearty too. This is a big portion. This is one of the best breakfasts I've had in Vegas in a while. All right, last but certainly not least, we have the Tres Leches French Toast. This looks like a mountain of goodness. French toast with dulce de leche cream, soaked in the tres leches, whipped cream, strawberries, gold flakes. Why? Just to be opulent. How do I even attack this? I don't know, let's let's deconstruct it a little bit. This is so good. The French toast is crispy, the brioche is perfectly toasted. It's soft on the inside, got a nice crust, buttery crust on the outside. If you like sweet stuff, get this. This is fantastic, five out of five. Here at room 1838. Let's go inside and take a look. Who's there? Housekeeping. I don't think that's housekeeping. Let well, me come on in. Let me in. Welcome. Welcome to our room. Welcome into our palace tower, full view, one king premium room. It has not only one, but two bathrooms, a long row of closets for plenty of storage. It has this cool desk area all before you get to the main event. Let's look around. This room is awesome, you guys. It's 525 square feet, so it is massive. It's just me and a bed in here. There's plenty of room for both of us. Not only do you have a king-size bed to sleep on, with a super comfortable mattress. You have this awesome L-shaped sectional to lounge on. You get a desk area. Of course, you get your armoire with the giant flat screen TV, mini bar, all of the hotel amenities that you've come to expect in Las Vegas. But there's just so much room in here to lounge out, relax, work. It's been awesome. And the best part is we have this amazing view of all seven Caesars Palace pools. It's been great for us to kind of keep tabs on the traffic down at the pool, but this view is awesome. It's not the most modern or chic hotel room, I'll give you that, but for as old as Caesars Palace is, this room is super well appointed, and like I said, there's just plenty of space to lounge out, relax, to work, 
or to just enjoy yourself. This room retails for about $260 to $300 per night, but thanks to Kiana, we got an awesome upgrade deal. So shout out to Kiana and the service here at Caesars Palace, this has been great. But let's take you into the best part of the room, in my opinion, the bathroom. All right, look at this amazing Whirlpool bathtub you get. This is huge. This bathtub is massive. And let me show you the shower. This is actually one of the coolest parts of this bathroom. This is such a unique feature to this room. I don't think I've ever seen it in a Las Vegas hotel room. The shower is huge. It's two shower heads, so you can get double the water. The water pressure is amazing and it acts as a pass-through to the second bathroom. So this is kind of a Jack and Jill situation where the connector between the two bathrooms isn't a hallway, it's the shower. So you can go in from either side. That's awesome. All right, this is an old school hotel room. And how can you tell? Because it does have a bidet in the primary bathroom, but the bidet isn't attached to the toilet. It's one of those old school bidets. Comment down below, how do you use these are you expected to just hop from the toilet over to the bidet with your dirty booty? Like, ew, gross. We're used to the bidets that are attached to the toilets. And also, come in here. Look how the water comes out. Okay, that's a little intense. It's a water fountain. It's a little intense. It's a water fountain. I don't know. We, I haven't used this. These bidets scare me, so. Comment down below, have you used these bidets? Are you used to using these? I've never really used them before. They scare the crap out of me, okay? Pun intended. All right, now that you've seen the room here at Caesars Palace, Palace Tower, let's go to the pool. Oh my God, we're in the temple pool, oh. y'all. This, this is the temple pool. It's, so, it's cold. so cold. You ready, Chris? Look who it is. He made it to the center of the pool. He's telling me to film him. Of course I am, he's waving. This is an impressive pool complex, you guys. Look at this. Wow. This is just one of eight pools. That's great. Or seven. I don't know how many, but there's a lot. And this water is freezing cold. I think this one is definitely heated. Actually, I don't know that definitely, but maybe Chris, Chris just said, I'm just used to the cold water coming in. I don't know. Y'all, this pool complex is huge, but this is a huge hotel, so you would almost expect that. Now, Chris and I were able to find two chairs towards the back. We just wanted to explore the complex here. We've seen this in movies. We've seen it, you know, on TV and stuff, but it just doesn't do it justice. When you're here, this pool's this pool complex is gorgeous. Garden of the Gods. Uh, this is amazing. These pools are massive and there's seven of them. Right? This is really cool. Beautiful. This is like the, one of the most gorgeous pool complexes I've seen. I just love the theming. It's like you're transported to the Roman Empire here. This is really cool. Is this your Roman Empire? No, no. But it could be. This is an amazing pool complex. This is awesome. You gotta come here when you come to see this palace. This is beautiful. You taking calls? I'm just keeping my phone out of the water. <laughs> this is a reminder to everybody. You're in Vegas, you're having a good time, hydrate. I got me a liquid IV here. All right, pro tip for when you come to the Garden of the Gods pool. As big as this pool complex is, there really aren't that many lounge chairs. So there's a good amount, but not as many as you would think. And so they fill up super quick. We got here about 10 minutes after the pool opened. So the pool opened at nine o'clock. We got here around 9, 10, 9, 15 and it was already packed. We had to walk a good ways to find a couple of chairs for us to put our stuff on. So just keep that in mind. There was a pretty long line right before the pool opened too. So people know and they queue up to get chairs. So if you want a chair, if that's important to you, you might want to get here a little bit early. All right, y'all, the website said that there are seven pools. We're only counting four, including the private one that's only for seven stars. I wish we were seven star, but we don't play like that, y'all. All right, y'all, I gotta move fast. This is only reserved for seven star. We are not seven star. But look, we paid good money. I at least wanna see it. Maybe there's a hot tub up here. It should make sense they would have that exclusive just for seven star people. All right, pools six and seven happen to be up here in the 
seven star private exclusive area. So if you were wondering, as were we, like where exactly are all seven pools? The two that are missing are up here, but the views up here are great. I don't know if we're allowed to be up here or not, to be honest, but we just wanted to take some video and some pictures. It was harmless. But anyway, everyone here is so nice. And going back down to just the regular pool, but hey. All right, Chris, so this is Jupiter pool. We found all seven, but I, where's Uranus? <laughs> you know where Uranus is at. Don't even ask that. Y'all, I don't know if it's commonplace or not. Maybe it was common knowledge. We were so surprised to see Dole Whip uh, at the Cosmopolitan pool. Does every resort in Vegas have Dole Whip? Here, here in the Fortuna pool bar area, they got Dole Whip. All right, we're at the pool. Of course we had to get a Dole Whip and we got it spiked. So it comes with rum. And look, they put a lot of fruit in here. They got cherries and a strawberry. It looks really pretty. All right, let's try. Um, we already know what it tastes like. <laughs> tastes like Dole Whip. Of course, all you're gonna get is the alcohol when you drink it first. So they give you a spoon to, to eat the Dole Whip with. So don't just drink everything through the straw at once or all you're gonna get is rum. Unless that's what you want, which is not a bad thing. Well, they say Vegas is uh, Disney for adults and now they've got Dole Whip here pretty much, at least in the last two hotels we've stayed at. So plus infinity for Vegas. I don't know, will Disney catch up? But five out of five for the Dole Whip. Presentation, a little better with the fruit, but Cosmo's consistency was a little better, but still you're getting Dole Whip with this view and there's nothing wrong with that. All right, so we're in Caesar's Palace. We have to stop by Dominican, so it's a rite of passage when we're here, and it's a tradition at this point. We got the cronut. If you didn't know, the cronuts are seasonal in flavor, and so we had to get the May seasonal flavor. It looks delicious, okay? So we had to get it, and then I are gonna share one, because you know what? We don't have cronuts this good in Texas, so we have to get it when we're here in Las Vegas. The thing about the cronut is that what makes it is the flavor. I mean, the texture and everything else is amazing. It's a fried croissant. I took a much bigger bite than I was anticipating. Huge sugar rush. This month's flavor is five out of five. The cherry filling in here and the cream, it's just amazing. I don't know if you can see it. It drip, ends up dripping out from like the bottom. Again, the krona is flaky, buttery. It's a fried croissant. And then it is filled with this delicious cherry filling. I'm gonna take another bite, Chris. You're gonna love this. Abed was pulling my arm to try to get over here to Dominic so I'm just kidding. He didn't really have to pull that hard. At first he was like, let's go get a krona. I was like, I'm actually full and I don't want one. And then we walked by it and I was like, let's get a krona. <laughs> So we got one. That says it's five out of five. So now I'm I'm excited. Should I eat it upside down? Because it keeps squirting out the bottom, like squirting out the bottom. So I'm gonna eat it upside down. Do it. It's so good. Honestly, it's one of the best flavors they've come up with. You have to like cherry. You have to like cherry. That's my favorite cronut flavor so far. The cherry is so good. A little bit tart to offset the sweetness of the cronut. The icing is sweet. And of course there's like turbinado sugar or something all around it, which is also sweet, but it's a nice tart cherry filling. The Krona obviously is perfect. Yeah, that is delicious. And it beds right, it is very flavor dependent. So depending on what kind of cream is inside the Krona, sometimes it can be like, eh, if, you're no, if you don't like that flavor profile, but cherry, A plus, it is really, really good. We made it into Vanderpump Cocktail Garden here inside the Forum Tower at Caesars Palace. It's a cute little space, way smaller than Vanderpump Opry and way louder. So hopefully you can hear me. Sorry for all the music, but um, yeah, we got our drinks, ordered a couple of cool cocktails. We'll show you when they get here. But so far this place is awesome. I love the aesthetic in here. Lisa Vanderpump knows how to design a restaurant, and if her cocktails are anything like they were at the Paris, these are gonna be great. 
All right, so I got the Puff the Magic Dragon, which has Dos Hombres Mezcal, lemon, orange bitters. It also has fire water bitters, jalapeno, and tahit. This looks so pretty. One thing about Vanderpump is all of their drinks are gonna look great. So let's give it a taste. If you like spicy drinks, like a spicy margarita, this is it. The mezcal is a little smoky, but man, the fire water bitters and the jalapeno are so good. Adds that little spice that is, mm, sets the drink off, delicious, five out of five. And plus it's gorgeous, am I right? All right, so I got the checkmate bitch. The checkmate bitch comes with stoli vodka, chacha jalapeno, fresh pineapple, grapefruit liqueur, vanilla citrus syrup, Angostura bitters, and pink peppercorns. This was definitely up my alley. It smells fantastic. You can you can definitely tell there's jalapeno in here, but all of the other like really floral, fruity elements are in here. Enough yapping, let's try it. Y'all, this is really good. The pink peppercorn kind of pop, adding a little bit of like heat, along with the pineapple juice, along with the jalapeno. As always, Lisa Vanderpump knows what she's doing, five out of five. Cheers, y'all. All right, y'all, we were actually kind of surprised that Vanderpump uh, Garden is open. We thought it didn't open till four o'clock, but it actually opens at noon on Fridays. And what's really great is we were able to get in, like no reservation, which is just great. Vanderpump Paris is different. You have to get a reservation. It's gonna be really hard to get in. But tonight we're eating at Hell's Kitchen. We just wanted some pre-dinner drinks, maybe a little snack. Keep watching, we'll show you what we got, but so far this has been a wonderful experience. Make sure to check out our review of Hell's Kitchen. We'll link the video in the description and at the end. You can also find all our Las Vegas content in our Las Vegas playlist. So far, our stay at Sister Palace has been really great, to be perfectly honest. It is such a large complex, it's a mega resort, so it takes a while to get around, but overall, we've really enjoyed ourselves. I think my favorite part, I'm gonna say is the service. The employees, the dealers, the crew have all been fabulous. Hey Chris, what do you think? Uh, I think I was really impressed with the room. The room is so nice, so spacious. It's been an awesome home base for us. And the pool, the pool was, I was not expecting the pool to be that nice. I knew it was gonna be nice, but dang, that is an impressive pool. So probably the room and the pool for me have been my favorite parts so far. All right, we don't want to ruin our appetite for dinner, so we just got a little charcuterie board, little charcuterie board with some meats and cheeses, assorted meats and cheeses. Looks like we got manchego, brie, uh, we have some smoked gouda, parmesan crisps, olives, we got some salami, it looks like prosciutto. This looks great. We're just gonna nibble a little bit. We're gonna nibble a little bit and sip on our cocktails. This is a good start to the evening. This is a great charcuterie board. Nothing special, you know? Everything's super high quality though. So, you know, I'll give this a four out of five. It's not some like culinary delight, but everything is fresh and it's a really light starter. Charcuterie boards are just lunchables, right? Like, is that why, especially millennials, we love them so much? As an elder millennial, I'm gonna answer, at least for myself, yes, that is why. All right, so we've been to Vanderpump Pop Paris two times. Check out our videos. We'll link in the description below. So coming to Vanderpump Cocktail Garden, it's a little bit of a different experience, right? Vanderpump Pop Paris, I feel like, is a, a more full service restaurant where you go for like dinner. Um, they have larger entree sizes. They still have light bites, but they have more on the menu that you can share with the table. Vanderpump Cocktail Garden strikes me as more of a happy hour, free dinner cocktail place where you can just get light bites. So they have like little hors d'oeuvre sized things on the menu, uh, light appetizers and cocktails. So if you're looking to go for dinner, I'd go to Vanderpump Opery. If you're looking to come just for some snacks and some drinks, come to Caesar's Palace. I do agree with Chris. I will say that Vanderpump Opery at the Paris definitely has like over the top drinks. Check out our video, you'll know exactly what we're talking about. Um, they're fun, but this is definitely like a casual spot, grab a few bites and then head on about your business. So for my second drink, I got the Rome is Burning, which is basically a smoked black cherry Manhattan. And it's really cool. It comes in this giant decanter that's full of smoke. And the longer it sits, 
the flavor profile changes. So every pour that you do, you're gonna get kind of a different cocktail. So that's kind of a cool experience. Obviously, I'm gonna get more than one drink out of this. And you know us in smoked cocktails, we love smoked cocktails. Beautiful, this is really pretty. Oh, it smells like smoke, it smells so delicious. Ooh, yeah. That's not super smoky right now, but I bet you my next pour will be because it's been sitting there. That's really good. Just for the presentation alone and the drink, I gotta give it a five out of five. This is what we have come to love from Vanderpump in Vegas. Just over the top presentations and a really good cocktail at that. And of course, we're in Rome, right? The Rome is burning. Very aptly named cocktail, Lisa Vanderpump. I see you. All right, cheers. Oh, that smells way smokier. Oh yeah, it is way smokier. That's good. And it got a little sweeter. Interesting. It's so smooth though. Oh my God, it's so smooth. That is delicious. And I don't want anyone judging Chris. He ordered a shareable drink all for himself. There's no judgment here. This is a judgment-free channel. Leave him alone. Don't judge me a bit. Yeah, it's shareable with myself. I'm sharing it with me, myself, and I, and we're each gonna have one drink. Yo, I'm gonna need to sober up for Hell's Kitchen. I'm gonna have to change as well. I'm not, I can't, Gordon can't see me like this. Also, it's taken me a while. I've been drinking off this. I, my little pouch can't handle this much alcohol. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna take a break. We're gonna need to sober up a little bit. We'll. Chris, how you doing? I'm feeling so good right now. I'm feeling real good. This place is awesome. It's 2 p.m. and I definitely got my buzz on. But the canter's empty, y'all, and that was me. That was all me. I put in the work. Not a bad. I had one sip, a pretty big one. It was a big one. He helped me out. But hey, tell me you're in Vegas without telling me you're in Vegas. I slurred that really bad. Tell me you're in Vegas without telling me you're in Vegas. Getting a buzz on at 2 p.m., am I right, y'all? All right, we've been coming to Vegas for a long time, and if you remember way back in the day, actually not way back in the day, just a few years ago, in the rotunda of Caesar's Palace, there used to be this statue behind me, greeting guests, and now they totally redid the rotunda. There's a new statue, but it's so great to see that they kept this statue, they didn't get rid of it, it's now greeting you from the Uber ride pool area. So when you get out of your Uber, you come into Caesar's Palace, you're gonna be greeted by the original Caesar. I don't know if he's the original Caesar, but you'll be greeted by the Caesar that they took out from the rotunda. They didn't get rid of him. That's kind of cool. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, it means so much to us. Let us know in the comments. If you're not subscribed, join the Recess Fam. It's free and it helps our channel out. We're so excited to bring you more Vegas cruising, theme parks, and more. We had so much fun on this recess. We can't wait to show you more. Till next time, we'll see you on the next recess.